welcome to my next video today we shall make a request we shall learn to make requests first we must understand what is a request what is a request you are asking someone to do a favor for you so it should be in a very polite way it is not proper to throw a request at someone's face like give me some money open the door for me etc there are some structures which are to be used only then it will have the image of a request it has to be presented in a formal way even if it is to your friend <coughs> it has to be presented in an indirect way what do you mean by presenting in an indirect way first you have to create a situation then we make use of some expressions creating a situation means the listener should know or the listener should understand that you need something that is why you are requesting you must explain your situation just very briefly in a sentence or two then some expressions are used like can you could you would you please would you mind i'll be grateful etc so let us see how we shall make request suppose if it is like this you want to request somebody to give you a lift somewhere first you have to create the situation how is it dear rex i'm afraid i'm late as i had some work in the morning could you please give me a lift hope it won't bother you what did we do here first we created a situation we explained a situation i'm late uh, because i had some work in the morning it is not on purpose then we are presenting the request could you please give me a lift hope it won't bother you could you please is used here because uh, rex may be may not be a close friend or he may be a senior person so you want to be very polite that is why could you and please is used together now another situation you have to request your friend to help you with the assignment remember he is your friend he is your classmate so uh, the way of presenting is different rex i didn't understand the questions properly can you please help me with the assignment so he has created he has explained why he is putting such a request why i didn't understand the questions properly then rex will come to know that you need some help the situation is genuine and then you can say can you please help me with the assignment here can you is used instead of could you can you is more informal means in a more friendly way rex is your classmate and friend so it is enough if you use can you but if it is to your teacher or your senior you must use could you please because that is usually used for senior people now you want to request your friend to buy you some food first you have to create the situation i forgot to take my purse i have no money with me would you please buy me some food that is what you have to say first you have created the situation and then you have made the request now you are requesting a friend to share his food with you he is having his food you like it very much you want to get it shared how will you write rex your food smells good would you mind sharing your food with me first you created a situation telling that the food smells good then you asking him would you mind here would you mind means you can ask it to a friend the meaning is is there any problem in sharing your food with me if he says no that means you are welcome to share the food if he says yes i don't like it means he didn't grant your request so for would you mind and would you mind will always follow with verb plus ing form sharing that is the word which is used there so can and would you mind is used for very close friends where you need not be very formal now another situation you want to request your boss to grant you leave the next day what will you say sir i am very tired and need rest could you please grant me leave the first sentence itself proves that a request is coming by and your boss will be convinced that you need a leave that is why i am telling you must create the situation first and could you please 
is very polite, is being very polite because he is your boss. Next situation is your friends are having a discussion. They are talking about something. You want to join them. They are sitting in a circle and talking. What will you say? First, uh, don't just break in. You have to tell them, your talk seems to be very interesting. Can I join you? Can I join you? Here is, you are talking to your friends. You want to join them. Or you can ask, would you mind me joining you? Or would you mind if I join you? Both are correct. Would you mind is also used for informal uh, situations. That is, if they say no, that means you are welcome to the gathering. Would you mind if I join you? That is a question here. Is there any problem in me joining you? Or can I join you? All these expressions I used to talk to friends and uh, very close people. Now, you are at a dinner with relatives. Ask one of them to pass the bowl of soup. How will you ask them? That soup is very delicious. I need some more. Would you please pass the bowl of soup? Here, the relatives will be elder to you. They will be senior citizens. So, this is the way. Would you please? Please is used there in order to make it very polite. Would you please or could you please is also correct there. And you have to create the situation first. It is very delicious. I like it very much. I need some more. Then they will be expecting a request. You have to prepare them for the request. You are sitting in a room with some colleagues. Ask someone to open the window. Colleagues means those who are working with you. Suppose if this colleague is your friend, then you can ask, I feel it is too hot. Can you please open the door? First you have presented the situation, it is too hot. And then you can say, can you please open the door? Or you can even say, would you mind opening the door? Both these are for friends. If it is to an acquaintance or a senior, how will you say? Acquaintance means a person whom you know but you are not very friendly. You know him but you are not very friendly. Or a senior person. Then you have to be more polite. How will you say? Luckily you are sitting near the window. It is very hot. Could you please open the window? That is the first you have created a situation and then you have requested him. Could you please open the window? Or would you please open the window? Or... I would be grateful if you open the window. I would be grateful means I would be very thankful if you open the window. This is the way to present that. Next, uh, you want to ask your, tell your employer that you would be half an hour late the next day. What will you say? I have to take my mother to hospital. Sir, could you please permit me to be half an hour late to office? Or would you please permit me to be half an hour late to the office? Or I would be grateful if you give me permission to be half an hour late to the office. All these are very polite expressions which you should use to a senior. You need some money. You ask your friend, see, I don't have any money with me. My salary is not credited. Would you please lend me some money? Or I would be grateful if you lent me some money. Means it shows the intensity of the situation. I am very grateful means I will be very thankful if you give me some money. That means it shows that you are very much in need of money. Next is you want somebody's bike. You are trying to borrow somebody's bike. Here you have to be very polite. What will you say? Could you possibly give me a bike for a day? I need to go on an errand. I don't have a bike. So, there could you possibly is used to show that you are very polite. So, these are the request structures which are commonly used. Now, I will just give you a synopsis or a summary of what we have said. First is you have to pay attention to the two important steps of making a request. First, there should be a brief explanation of the situation. Either you can give the brief explanation in the beginning or in the end of the request. But it should be there because the listener or whom you are talking to should be convinced that the request is genuine. 
then the most commonly used structures can and would you mind is used for your friends a younger person subordinates etc could you please would you please etc a uh, formal it is more polite to a seniors your superiors elder people whom you don't know very much your acquaintances who is not very friendly but you just know them etc if you want to be very polite to anyone you must use please or possibly then i would be grateful there is a thing like that i would be grateful there is an expression which is used to show the intensity of your request that is you are meaning to say if you help me i would be very grateful i would be grateful if you lend me some money i would be grand grateful if you give me accommodation grateful means i would be thankful so that is the end of this video regarding request making i hope it is interesting and it is useful to you so watch it again and again if it is interesting you may share it and also subscribe thank you for being with me thank you